when it comes to safety, placing a thread is not going to occlude something and it's not going to cause any sort of necrosis to the skin. Okay. Mm -hmm. So right away, I've decreased the sculptor because I use sculptor threads instead. Mm -hmm. Right. So the safety for me that I don't have to worry about injecting 10 cc's of Sculptra into a patient to build collagen. Now I just create a hashtag that consists of 20 to 50 threads. I'm getting the collagen building. And that one treatment is staying for two years. So the safety of that allows me to sleep at night so <laughs> that I don't block any blood vessels. I don't have to inject into a blood vessel. I don't have to worry about any necrosis. I don't have to worry about all of the other scary things that dermal fillers could actually happen. Even if you're aspirating using a cannula, all that sort of stuff comes into play when we're injecting a face, whether it's a dermal filler, whether it's a thread. So the safety for the thread factor, just talking about threads in general, we want to make sure that they're in the right place of the dermis. Mm -hmm. We're building collagen in the mid to bottom of the dermis. So all the reticular spaces and all the fibroblasts are in that area. So if we're wanting to trigger collagen building, we need to get it in that proper plane. If we go too superficial, the skin is not going to like it. And then the skin is going to cause some side effects. To avoid those side effects, depth is very important. Side effects that you're going to get from Sculptra or a Sculptra thread is going to be the same. The epidermis is not going to like it. When it comes to safety, I think the overall is, is the occlusion of compared to dermal fillers, the occlusion, you have no occlusion with a Sculptra thread. I place Sculptra threads underneath eyes, above lips, around the lips, in, in those areas where I cannot place Sculptra, forehead, right? Mm -hmm. So those are the areas that have a more positive outcome and no risk profile. That is a go-to in, in Sculptra threads in my eyes um, are going to build a little bit more volume and it gives you a little more modality than just putting a PDO thread. If somebody needs extra collagen building, they need something more than a PDO that will dissolve in four to six months. We yeah. want it to dissolve over a year period and then we want it to build collagen for up to a two year period. So that's going to be the benefit uh, of that and mm -hmm. take the risk out of it. I agree. This is one of the reasons why I did choose this company. And I'm not sure if that's one of the reasons what brought you over here too, because. Well, the I'm variety of threads that Lays on Grace has is you're a kid in the candy store. And so I am I find it exciting that, oh my gosh, I can choose such that variety. And Lays on Grace was the first company to come out with the blunt threads around the lips, blunt threads around the eyes. We, we, this was like evolution to the finest because when threads came out, we were putting sharp threads underneath the eyes. So people yeah. were getting bruised for weeks, right? We couldn't help it because it's a sharp needle. Developing the blunt threads has just been amazing. So now somebody can get those little lip lines fixed without any bruising. So that was just so good that evolved that way. I, I remember when I first started and I started teaching and I, I had to teach the representatives and then I started teaching you know, nurses and doctors on the placement of the sharp needles. And I'm telling them that they have to be extremely careful in vascular areas because you could go too deep, you could go too superficial. It was definitely something that had a nuance to using. At the time, I think I mean, a lot of people were having bruises and I can contribute that to a lot of the scare of using threads, but we have cannulas now. We have the more blunt cannulas, the sharp ones. Lays on Craze was on the forefront of developing all those threads. Other companies will follow suit, but it's interesting that Lays on Craze has had so many different varieties of threads, both sharp, both barb, and the other companies still don't have that. So mm -hmm. it's just amazing. And that's why I chose Lays on Craze. Through Astra Institute, we actually train. I wear many hats. And not only do I put in threads in patients every single week, but on the educational realm, 
I definitely need to make sure that practitioners that learn threads do not have side effects and so forth. If we had so many side effects and we teach, say, a class every other month, if we had so many side effects, that's all I would be dealing with is side effects. So safety and injecting correctly is all utmost importance. And we teach you how to use these different threads and what are the best threads to actually use for what area. And so a lot of that will shine through in any training that you take. 